in the micro car space, everything looks like it comes from the, the cartoon TV series cars. And this picture, this looks like that Russian car we reviewed a few months ago, and they had bicycle wheels. It was a four wheel, it was a four wheeled bicycle that kind of looked like the same expression on its face. This is from the Do Good Car Company. So I posted an article in there uh, out of, uh, it's a, a report written by uh, APRI, which is the Electric Power Research Institute, uh, looking at what is the impact of electric cars going to have on the grid, which is a legitimate, you know, if we're shooting to have by 2020, 2035, or whatever it is, 60% of all new cars being sold are electric, What's that going to do? And they and they raised the question in there. You know, are, we're seeking to eventually replace 280 million gas-powered cars from stuff being sucked out of you know out of the earth to cars that are being powered primarily by the electric power grid. So, what's the impact going to have on the grid? And and some of the points are is that that they found in this study. Is that they really seriously need to look at look at things like lightening the vehicle and making it more practical. So rather than us having you know lots and lots of four and five and six passenger uh, uh, cars out there, they're thinking that we need to get much lighter. And so I think this is where we're starting to see this increasing emphasis. This is I think the third car that I've highlighted this week that is a micro car. So this car has one seat. Up front. And it's got room for two people in the back. Well, in theory, there's, it looks like there's only one seat belt in the back. Well, no, you, yeah, you're only seeing the side for the right-hand passenger. There's the one for the other passenger, yeah. Okay. So, it, but, but think about this. Driving to work every morning when you're in that line of cars at the stoplight, how many of those have more than one person sitting in them and they got five or six seats in the car? Oh, I'm assuming this is going to be really inexpensive. It's going to, the, the world, well, we're talking 2050. So we're talking 25 years out, you know. Um, most of us old geese, I'll be gone by then. Hopefully you'll still be around and your kids will be around. The, the world's going to be different. It's going to change. And these are people trying to anticipate how do we do that. And micro cars is one of those areas that they're sort of playing with and toying with. And and what if and and what if those all of those are you know robotic powered? I wonder if we've got a price tag on these. Most of these are running under ten thousand dollars. They're running. They're running. You know, and then euros they were like sixty seven hundred euros. You know, but easily under under a, you know ten thousand dollars. Yeah, seventy six hundred dollars U.S. for this. I mean, you know, it, it, it's pretty amazing to think about having actual transportation that is similar to what we're used to here in the United States for that kind of price. Yeah, well, this is, yeah, this is, you know, the, the, at the moment, the way these things are engineered, they really make more sense in Europe where you have what we call quadricycle rules, where you can have vehicles, you know, that legitimately operate under, you know, 35 kilometers an hour, that kind of thing. And the, I think this car has a motor that's like two and a half kilowatts, you know, a little bit bigger than a bicycle and a range of, you know, a hundred kilometers, you know, 60 mile range. Well, so I know from looking at the Exceder fleet vehicles that they get a hundred and they get almost 13 miles per kilowatt hour on the battery because they're so light. Okay. Yeah. Cause they're really lightweight and they only um, go 50 miles per hour max. And this one says it'll go 60. Okay, but if they governed it down to 50, you could import it in the United States on, and as a low-speed vehicle. Yeah, so there are certainly some things you could do with something like this here in the U.S. And I know that Exceder is going to bring some that are a little bigger than this because they have four doors, but they're going to be about $12,000. So, there, so there, there's, there's obviously a place for things like this. You know, it's it's going to take time for people to adjust and older generations, you know, science only moves forward at the pace of the death of the last scientist. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know, as, as we get a different generation coming up with different values, you know, having some big hunk and thing may not make sense to them. You know, this, I don't need that burden. All I need to do is take my phone, 
you know, put in my uh, my address or, you know, whatever we're using at that point. And the thing shows up and I jump in it. It takes me to where I want to go. Hi, I'm David with EV World News. If you like this video, then please press the like button. If you like the content and would like to see more videos on electric vehicles, then please hit the subscribe button. If you have some feedback for us, please let us know in the comments. Have a great day.